Hey, how's everybody doing today? Can you guys hear me okay? So we're gonna start in a couple minutes. Hey, how's it going, Dexter? I'm doing pretty good. Just a little bit of uh, allergies at the moment, but good. A little bit of noise coming from my mic. It might, might be the music too, or let's see if I can fix this real quick. How oh, how's that? Is that much better now? Let me just. Uh... Yep, okay, cool. That should, that should fix it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get started. So today we're probably going to get started with some, uh, we're going to go back to torturing ourselves a little bit and start with some ZBrush Core Mini from Pakistan. Hey, how's it going? Nice, man. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. 
So, as you guys know, we have this free version of ZBrush, which is pretty awesome. You know, it's 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 really nice. We did la the last stream. We did a few a few things on it to kind of like this orc character. So I wanted to kind of limit myself again and see what we can do with this. <clears throat> when you're using ZBrush, you're watching ZBrush live streams. Um, well, you guys, if you have have, have time, check out the ZBrush live streams. There's a lot of really cool information there and really cool characters that people make and, and props and that type of stuff. Um, let me see. I don't think I posted what I did last time, but uh, if you guys want to check out my Instagram, here's some of the type of, type of stuff that I do. So <clears throat> if you guys have time, check it out. Put a link on there. Let me put a link to my gum road again. So if you look out, if you check out my link tree, you guys can check out the, all, all the links to all my stuff, my social media stuff. So yeah, it'd be cool. <clears throat> but yeah, we're going to get started. Kind of just see what we can make with the, the limitations of not having masking and see kind of where it goes. If that kind of makes any sense, we're just going to, go for it it's a very interesting process because um, if you notice like I'm very limited by not having that masking so I'm here I'm gonna try to kind of pull out a head and start with the torso <coughs> you know there's like the different ways to add resolution so one way that I noticed it was pretty nice is if I just kind of use the overall like standard I think from our last stream just kind of then if you smooth it get a couple more poly so it's nice to kind of get started with let's let's see what we can make so since last time i haven't really tried doing something different i haven't tried doing um anything else with this with this uh core mini but we're gonna give it a try <clears throat> and yeah, i want to try blocking out something the way i would usually do but of course with limited tool set and see how, how that goes. Might be awesome, might be terrible. We'll see where it ends. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, hey, how's it going, David? Oh, something, something's wrong with the name of the stream. That's okay. Somebody will fix it later. Not, not a problem. <clears throat> they might pick up the previous person's name, so it's okay. But yeah, let's uh, let's continue to block something out. Let's see how, where we get to. Let's see. Let's see how far we get. Oh, it looks like. Oh, let's see. Any other questions? No, no. So it, it, see, it's somebody. It has somebody. It has the old stream name. It's okay. <clears throat> so yeah. We're, so we're just gonna see. Let's see what we can make. So let's get sketchy and. See how far we can push this guy. How's everybody doing today? Everybody uh, sculpting along or giving uh, this this version of ZBrush a try yet? I think you guys would dig it. It just um, it reminds me more of like when you used to. Uh, well, there's no shortcut, so th that's a <laughs> that's the other thing too. So if you're used to shortcuts, the only one that I'm able to use is bracket up and bracket down to kind of switch. But you can't even create poly poly uh, groups or anything like that or masking or you know I'm I'm so used to holding control part of my workflow, and um, 
it's or holding even the space bar so I think I just have to hold S that's the only thing that I have figured out that uh, you can do it. S and U are the two shortcuts for intensity and uh, size changing <clears throat> so it's gonna be an interesting process let's see how it goes and where we get to So here I'm just thinking of some basic proportions, nothing crazy, you know. <clears throat> yeah, no masking with the free version. Uh, that's one of the one of the challenges I faced last time. My workflow was so based on, on that type of stuff that um, when I switched over, it, it was a uh, it was a bit of a challenge, but not not a problem, you know. We, we're always up for the challenge. Yeah, no inserting either. So I'm always used to inserting and um, using the mask, and, and this time well, you really can't. So, and I still continue to hit some of the, you know, like the space bar to try to minimize my brushes and that type of stuff. But obviously, that's not what we need right now. Well, we can't get it right now. So, but it, you know, just think about it more like traditional sculpting. You just erase and keep going. Uh, symmetry, I think, is on by default. I think it's still X. It's let's double check. Yeah, it's still X, so that's still on. The nice thing I, I think about this, it, it really makes you think about um, like primary forms. And that's kind of what I'm just thinking about. Like, what, what, are, what are we going to make here? You know, I would like to have something that has maybe some weird creepy arms. But we'll see. I just want to block out something and then from there we can start adding detail. Let's give him a little bit of a shoulder, a little bit of that. Change some major proportions. <laughs> it's so funny to keep hitting the same shortcuts that don't work. There we go. Turn off that dynamic. I think it's much faster. But this is cool for moving. See, if you turn off dynamic, um, it really helps to just get all the broad strokes in there. <clears throat> Creative crisis, right? Uh, creative crisis is an interesting problem because depending like um, you know what motivates you if you have no motivation then uh, it, it makes it really hard for you to to do anything to like keep pushing forward and keep um, let's see if we can block out some arms here I would say I used to wait for motivation when I was younger and I used to like, you know, deal with that type of problem like you're having now. <clears throat> so one thing I noticed is that you have to just motivate yourself even if you're if it's really hard for you to be motivated. Like push through that struggle. If what used to motivate you doesn't motivate you anymore, then try to um, try something else. Let's see. I would say look at nature. Nature is probably your best friend to for motivation. I always look at nature. Hmm. See, that's one of the interesting things, right? Like if if you uh, use a snake hook, everything just loses all this detail. So that's one of the issues that I was having last time. Not a big deal, just a different way of working. So one thing I noticed that was kind of cool is if you um, if you use smooth with the standard tool and just kind of decrease it and get get your, your shapes in, that kind of helps a lot. 
You're gonna get a lot of crunchies, but not a big deal. You just have to. Thanks. Let's see, let's work on that face a little bit, a little bit of the neck, see what we can kind of come up with. Sorry, some questions. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Rudy? Just giving this uh, ZBrush Core Mini a try again. See if we can come up with some limitations, you know? So this could need a little bit more polys in here. How's your NFT going, Rudy? I saw that you posted something about that. The other thing that I noticed is that we could actually just decrease the amount of polygons, but we are still having even hit 150 plus. That's the first level. Well, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, but gadgets help, right? Kind of keep your keep you uh, going as well. I, I know what you mean. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of a feel for the character here. You know, maybe he has some skinnier arms. Or actually, we could just deflate. start shaping those hands too so we're gonna just kind of keep blocking this stuff out and see how we how we do there's no real concept behind this just kind of dealing with it with the topology and the ideas of generating something here yeah without having my real my masking tool I feel super handicapped but it's it, I think it's a good good exercise to kind of just push on sketching
But I think for the most part, we're going to stay really sketchy for a bit. And then we're starting to get to the 250 mark. So I think now we can reduce the polygons. You know, it's very, let's see how it goes. Yeah, see, we're back to 150. So this is kind of the workflow, I think, at least for, for my end, is seeing that um, kind of building and then uh, removing and then re redoing the whole thing. I want this character to be a bit of a kind of a bit of a hunchback character. Now here's where I wish I had like kind of masking to mask those hands on in case I wanted to mess with them. But I think what I can do is just make the arms longer. But we can always take this into ZBrush, the other the other ZBrush version, and tweak it. But I want to stay in here as much as possible. So you guys can see what you guys can do with the free version. Especially if you're just trying this out and just trying to see how things go. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I'm trying to go for, like a little bit of um, Del Toro, you know? Yeah, yeah, working in film and working in games is like similar and there's a lot of cool things we can do. But I'm trying to just see where it goes with, with this kind of this free version of ZBrush to see show you guys like what's, what's going on with this especially for you guys that are that don't have embodied yet and want to try it it's free to try yeah I want to make it super creepy so maybe it has like tiny little eyeballs and or something you know let's see what are we at now we're at two of two something so let's add a little bit more polygons right here Yeah, I find it pretty useful to kind of just, as you're going, try to add polygons where you think you need them so that everything's even, since there's no real, like, dynamish. And then, let's see, now that we're at 290, let's reduce that again. So I'm keeping the frame so you guys can see kind of what's happening to the mesh. Like, it retains the detail, but... Uh, To me, we'll, we'll, re we'll, work, we'll come back to the hands, so let's just kind of remove the hands for now. Let's keep the arms, but let's remove the hands. Sometimes it's so easy to just kind of get in there. Hey, what's up, Richard? It's so easy to kind of get into the details when uh, things aren't quite fleshed out. And I'm trying to avoid that.
trying to do as much as I can with the here's the move tool. Yeah, this, this is where I'd be using masking a lot and uh, kind of pushing pushing all this stuff a lot. But uh, it's a different ballgame with this, so you got to be more careful and selective. Perspective, perspective, still the same shortcut. Just some basic anatomy points I'm trying to add here. Nothing crazy. Trying to keep it all sketchy. Let's see what we can do about this face. Yeah, one thing about the smooth is it's nice that it's not um, completely destroying everything. It's just kind of removing some polygons here and there. You know, if you guys can see, just reducing the areas where I kind of went over. So let's continue. Uh, can you give me some advice? Of I wish I, I could give you more advice on this stream, but this is mostly pixel logic type of stuff. So I think we should stick to pixel logic tips. Just kind of, just trying to figure out what to do with these basic shapes, you know. Like I want this to be like the bridge, or not, not the bridge, the cheekbone kind of sticking out a bit more. We're also fighting this, this topology that's not not the greatest. I see that, so let's add a little bit more. So let's see. So I'm thinking a little bit kind of spider like character. Right? Maybe multiple eyes or something. Does it ever crash? I don't know. I, let me see. What other inspiration can we add? Maybe we give him different types of uh, different type of mouth. Let's see.
it's kind of cool. What do you guys think? Oh, sorry, whoever's putting us stuff in Russian, can you guys translate it to English? I can try to respond to you guys. So most of the time I work without perspective on. But I'll switch back and forth between them, you know. So here we're going to get a little more sketchy, kind of start just seeing what's possible. Maybe that brush size is too small. <laughs> sorry, sorry to disappoint. I'm not Olga. So we got pretty high pretty quick. So let's go back to reducing this. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll fix it eventually. Sorry, guys. I'm just usually the, not the guy who's fixing all that. So let's explore something. Let's see. Let's play, let's play with some of the eye stuff. And... Uh, See if we can do, you know, does he have sunken eyes? Does he have multiple eyes? Like, what is his deal, you know? How do we blend this all, all this topology together to... if we were to make some eyes like I'm thinking kind of going that way like that something like that I need to get some more topology in there first Just to make it easier for when we're sculpting is carving in. better for me uh, there's no super super shortcuts because uh, this free version doesn't really have any set for s for changing the draw size and u for changing the intensity that's that's about it and I think uh, shift P still works I see no oh. for the polyframe whatever that was that should, that should also work but sorry yeah there is no So maybe here we can play around since there's no mask and it's going to make it a little harder to make some eyes. No 
trying to figure out how to connect them together. So we'll sketch some stuff underneath there, kind of a little bit of an eyelid type of deal. Then maybe sketch some trying to add a little more visual interests in different areas. Maybe a lot of this stuff is kind of like a bit of a sack kind of hanging down. Hey Luis, how's it going man? Uh, right now I'm kind of using it just to kind of give me more sketchy lines. That's kind of what I'm doing, you know, especially since we're kind of limited on some of the options we're used to. So I'm just kind of trying to let's go to medium now, maybe instead of going to the medium 250, but we'll see. Yeah, 299. So that kind of helps go back and down. Yeah, there's no damn standard, so I have to use slash. That's kind of the alternative. Oh, this could be the protagonist from the fly movie. I don't know. This is just. Just a sketch we're we're trying to play around with here. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm digging these little things that are kind of sticking out. Maybe. Yeah, there's also no masking, no masking to be able to like hide and delete hidden. That's a big workflow that I'm kind of used to, but there really isn't isn't any of that. So, so a lot of what I'm used to is no longer here, or well, at least not in this version. Because usually what I would typically do is mask this area and delete it. But since I can, I have to kind of shrink it. So what I'm trying to do is just shrink it so much that it collapses on itself. So by smoothing it and kind of moving it, I can kind of get rid of it. Just keep hitting smooth to kind of reduce it. You see how it went down? Let's see, so how is this silhouette working out? Not sure if I'm happy about those eyes. I think we're gonna we're gonna toss them. I think we're gonna do something different. Oh thanks Rudy. So it's easy to also erase. You know, because we're just kind of smoothing things out, and the more you erase, the more things go away. So you see, as you, if I'm erasing, it's kind of, or smoothing, it's kind of. Removing all the, all the details that I added. Just fine, you know, maybe we can use probably clay to, or um, clay buildup to patch some of those things, kind of. So it's still pretty easy to adjust things on the fly, just certain, certain things you're used to are, are a little different. Kind of like something like that better, I think. What do you guys think? I think maybe this is split in half.
Or maybe he doesn't even have need to have eyes. That's another thing too, right? Maybe that might work too. Maybe no ice. I think that that might be a good a good deal. Let's try that out. See, I think we gotta work on this mouth. I think it needs a bigger jaw. You guys okay with this music or? to mask the zebra you cannot you, there is no masking <laughs> i know that's that's one of the, the things that i'm fighting a lot that i'm so used to masking so it's, it's just a different way of working Yeah, I know. It's it's really strange to not have any masking when you're so used to it, but you know, it's um we're just trying a few things out, see where see where they go, you know. work on this guy call him sack face or something or maybe he has eyes underneath a lot of this stuff you know but I don't want him to have a giant head I want him to kind of have like a like one of the easy things I would have done before was kind of just um mask and shrink the body but it can't really do that so i need to kind of rework instead of working the body up maybe uh make the head smaller by just using the move tool so the way i'm picturing this character is kind of like not the smartest character so i want him to be i don't want him to have a giant head that's like make him feel kind of more Make him feel a little more dumb, more brute-like. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, maybe he has a smaller mouth, so it's hard for him to eat.
Not sure where this is going, but we'll see. So I think this is a 700k limitation, so I have to keep remember to keep going down. So I'm reaching that 500k, and I don't even have any, uh, you know, some of my secondary, third, tertiary forms in there yet. Uh, symmetry is that is that what you're talking about what do you call that yeah I keep hitting my uh, my shortcuts that don't exist in this version it's pretty funny Yeah, I think we're gonna play around with that mouth. I don't really like the way that mouth looks. I think he needs to have like a maybe even smaller mouth. Well, technical names, yeah. some of this stuff well, snake hook is pretty good for that so let's check out what snake hook can do see snake hook can do some real real damage to this if you really wanted to kind of remove remove most of what I'm doing here between a snake hook and move, I think those are the move, those are the maybe he has a really small mouth at the bottom. I think we're finding some better shapes there. Oh, thank you. I'm just trying this out. No, no pressure. Just having fun with this, you know, going with the flow. Embracing the limitations. But they're good limitations, I think. Yeah, I think I like this much better. Kind of like the idea of this whole thing being, uh, let's see, let's play around with some different shaders too. Oh, the skin is pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's move these arms. I don't really like them yet. Snake cook to the rescue, let's see. Yeah. Snake hook seems to be working pretty well to get rid of him. At least the forearm. I think we can leave the other part of the arm. Yeah, there we go. I, I think that the rest of it is good. Let's see.
I'm just refining these shapes because they, you know, the more we decimate them or remove resolution and, and play with the wobbles, it starts to get too wobbly for my taste. So, yeah, for most of the time, I'll, I'll, that's why I'm, I'm always keep keeping an eye on this and kind of remeshing and remeshing and remeshing. Because um, once I'm pretty happy, then I'll, I'll go ahead and do some more stuff on, the, on it, you know, like kind of. Make a little higher resolution, add more detail, that type of steel. Oh, I should check that out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I haven't uh, forgot about the fly. But let's uh, maybe let's look up some reference on that. That might be helpful. I'm just trying to go for something creepy and um, you know, fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to go too flying. I see what you're saying. I'm trying to keep it more in um, simple, creepy monster. I think this works with the mouth. I like it much better. I'll do some more sketching and. Filling some of these gaps in here. Oh, see, I hit the limit. Hit the limit of 700k. So I'm trying to try to fix the silhouette here. I think that the top silhouette of the forehead, see, I don't like, like what's happening here with the disconnection. So I think we're gonna work on that next. Like most of the time, I would just mask it, but because we don't have masking, we're gonna find an alternative way to fix it. You know this this blend this part here like almost like the ridge of the eye socket is holding the big sack yeah yeah it's fun it's a fun resemblance i think it's a, it's a cool creepy cool creepy character you know maybe his shoulders are really like um like shrugged in too a little bit with the perspective see what we can do I want him to just feel fleshy you know like oh, let's reduce yeah you guys digging it so far We'll work a little bit more on the body too. Kind of jump up and down, and kind of go between the body and the, the torso and the head. Two hundred k. Okay, that's that's pretty good.
You like it so far? Cool. I'm glad you're digging it. I wonder what happens if we just kind of mess with his head. Yeah, I kind of like that little pointy. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, that's why I'm here to help. I'm kind of digging this the skin shader. What do you guys think? Let's look at it from a distance. Let's make those arms longer. Reducing. Yeah, you guys uh, should feel free to follow along, download it for free, and give it a try. Some, you know, doesn't work out so. A little, little foul, little pot belly.
How many of you guys have actually tried this version of ZBrush? Just out of curiosity. Oh yeah, it handles pretty well. I think it's I think it's doing great. It's just a matter of kind of workflow, just trying some different things out, you know, like like maybe some of the things you're used to are going to be a little different, and that's kind of what I'm getting used to as well. But I would definitely recommend you try it if you can. And some of these crunches kind of look like detail, which is pretty cool. So far I'm really liking where this guy's going. You can just imagine him with really subsurface his skin and fat and all kinds of weird stuff. <laughs> let's see, we're up to 300, so let's add some more. So what I'm thinking here is kind of like when old people have those little lines underneath their um, underneath their, their two parts of their jaw, you kind of see those little tendrils kind of like this will help them kind of open and close their mouth. We're getting pretty high so let's go back to medium. But for free, I would say this is amazing. Like, I say you guys give it a try. Post, uh, feel free to tag me. I would love to check out some of the stuff you guys do. That would be awesome.
Yeah, if you're uh, hashtag with uh, either uh, MagBFX or um, I'll, I'll find a hashtag that we can use to, or maybe Cormini, that could be a, a good one too. Or feel free to tag me in them in whatever post you guys have. I'm just trying to take care of the major volumes, anything that I see that looks really bad. That's kind of what I'm going for right now. Kind of want to get everything at the same level. I figure he just has a big neck. Imagine him just having real skinny limbs and Let's change it. Let's try to see if we can get rid of some resolution here. Let's save where he's at now and let's see this is some test renders with um with some key shot. Let's go 
Gotta have an armpit. Test running on that. Let me just save the project. Let's see, let's launch ZBrush. Um, key shot. Hmm. <laughs> It's terrible but great, right? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going for. Terrible and great. We just want to see how fleshy he's going to look. What kind of addy, what, what else do we need to add to make him more fleshy? So let's see if we can open up the, that project. All right, so let's just send him to zero to. Let's send him to key shot real quick. See, he's super low, so it's all, it's all good. Let's put some fleshy, fleshy material on him. Let's see, I haven't messed with this uh, new. Oh, this is cool. It's a lot of new materials. Let's see, translucent. I need to change the scale on that, so let's uh, there we go. Starting to get a little flesh here. Maybe do some backlighting. I'm thinking overall. It's a lot of things that could be improved, but uh, overall it's okay. There we go. I think that's that's kind of the look overall. It's good. Maybe need to work on those sack eyes and the top of the head. I feel like that's needs to be further refined. But 
you know, it's going okay. Kyrgyz or Kurdlu? How's it going, man? Like this, I just need to work on that top of that head. The little body looks a little pudgy and skinny at the same time. I like it. Cool. Let's continue to work on it and see where we could take it from from here. Now that we did some test renders. So I like the side profile, which is this is really nice for that. Kind of see the silhouette, see if something looks creepy or not, or if the silhouette looks off. Continue to work on this. Uh, is that key shot environment on the cloud? Um, what do you mean? Like, uh, you mean the environment? Where, where does it live, or where is it? Let's see. No, it's it's on it's on their, It comes as part of the presets, you know. Unless you like, you're talking about the sky specifically. No, it's not in the cloud, it's just, um... Pixel logic, um, yeah, I think it's um, was that the indoor? ZBrush. Oh, these guys, yeah, I think these are the old ones that I had that Pixel logic release, like the ones on top of the Nomen. I think oh, this is pretty cool. They're more like on top of uh, the roof yeah they released this a while back I think with um, like four versions of course something something like that seems like the environment height could be there you go now he feels more integrated in there Let's see 
Yeah, him just hanging out on the rooftop. <laughs> I like this. This is pretty cool. Got to work on this. This is kind of what I'm working on here. Got to work on the eyes. Kind of a little more. Kind of more of a water balloon feel. I feel that I need to add. Where here they just feel a little bit lumpy, which I could fix later. Fixing also this integration of all this neck part. Like it needs to have more. Uh, what I, what would I call it? More like the double chin type of deal. Yeah, but the part that's bothering me is... Silhouette feels fine, it's just the part that bothers me is this brow section. Needs a little more love in there. We got a little dense there, so we need to go back and just maybe hit it with the smooth. I'm just con constantly looking at that stuff to kind of add more more of a bony landmarks, you know? Because I feel like right now it doesn't feel bony enough, like the skull. But also might need a little more resolution to play around with this. Those probably needs to have an ear at some point, somewhere. So maybe this is where his ear starts to show up. Sorry, it's not. It's 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 uh it's it's probably labeled wrong. Um, don't worry, it'll get fixed when it gets recorded. You know, it's being recorded now, so it'll get it'll get fixed then.
Let's see what kind of lace would he have? at our limit so let's push that It looks like my webcam went offline. Sorry, guys. Just noticed that. Yeah, usually not in charge of changing the thumbnail. Somebody else will change it later on. So when you guys are trying to rewatch this, it will change. I'm doing pretty good. Hey, yeah, feel free to ask a question. That's what I'm here for. So, um, just trying some new things out, new workflows. You know, that's I think it's important for people to try. Some people don't ever change their workflows, and you never know what could be um, gain gain from any of this stuff. How long would it take to be good at ZBrush? Um, that all depends how much work you put in and what are you trying to accomplish? Are you trying to be a video game artist? Are you trying to be a visual effects artist or 3D printing? Like what, what, are, what are you trying to achieve? I think that's probably the better question to be asking. Cause then from there, it's much easier to, I guess identify what, what you should be working on or where you should be improving or, or gaining your skills towards. So how long would it take? Uh, that's a that's an interesting question, I think, because it could take a long time. It could take a little bit of time. It could take a year. It could take a few years. It all depends on how much how much time you put into this, you know. I think it's a perfect time to use a snake hook.
I know it doesn't really give you much of an answer, but it all really depends like where you're at now and how you want to measure. Do you want to do anatomy? Do you want to do more hard surface stuff? Like what is your ultimate goal to kind of reach with all this, you know? Like for me, I want to say I don't. I still don't feel like I'm great at ZBrush. I'm. I'm just do what I do. I've been using it since 2004. I don't know, such a long time. But there was. I don't use it every day, you know, because I use Maya and other applications. But I'm always practicing my sculpting, and it takes time. I'm not gonna lie, but I have seen people they put time in in the year, six months, two years. They they get way better, big improvement. It also depends where you're studying, what, you, what are you trying to do to make this better, you know, like to, to gain knowledge. Well, let's test this out. Still not super happy with this, but I think it's good for when I take it to a kind of regular ZBrush and then do some more. But it's all about primary forms right now, so let's save this out and try rendering it and see if it looks any better. Well, for sure it'll take you a couple of years, but you just have to practice it with their anatomy, uh, in the design. There's many elements to, to kind of play around with. So let's see, so that's what we had. And let's, uh, let's load. This little other guy. Let's some pause um, key shot and send the other guy to key shot. I think we lost our shader. Yeah, that tends to happen sometimes. Not a big deal. Try this other human skin, see how that goes. Definitely feels more fleshy. They're definitely liking where it's going. Thin eyes definitely got too big, so we're gonna have to shrink those once we get into regular ZBrush. You like using Blender? I think it's it's great like, to try the different applications, but you should definitely try. Um, if you're just learning this stuff, you should definitely use this free free version of. Um, try the free version of ZBrush because I think you'll you you know you'll gain a lot and see if you like it. Then you could subscribe get the the professional version.
Yeah, feel free to contact me if you have any questions as well. I'm always open to answering questions off the stream. Uh, let's see, what was your question? Do you want to be a character artist? Let's see, is there a, oh, is there a base count polygon for the characters that should be? Um, yeah, the different, exactly. So you need to have LODs, and that's something that the regular ZBrush kind of helps you with a lot, where you know you you start with the low resolution and, and then sculpt all your detail to the highest resolution. So you're able to output multiple resolutions for levels of detail. And from their export, they're according, they're, uh, I guess they're matching um, normal maps and displacement maps and all that type of stuff as well, cavity maps. Let's see, let's uh, play around some more lighting on this. See what other uh, effects can we mess around with? A little chromatic aberration. There we go, camera. That's what I was looking for. Death of field. Oh, it's great. That, that's that's the way to do it, right? To to try it out, and if you like it, you continue to use it and buy the better version. It gives you more um, more control. But if you don't, at least you got to try it out, and you know you find out whether you like it or not. That's one of my favorite backgrounds here. I always use this all the time. Well, I definitely like the way this guy's going, so I think I'm going to continue working on him on the, on the regular version later. There's a lot of things to adjust, but I think it overall fits the bill overall pretty well. Yeah, but what do you guys think? Uh, you know, an hour, probably an hour and a half overall. the backgrounds with the more contrast like um let's, see, let's check out the studio stuff this one's pretty good usually Yeah, let me post some links to to some of this stuff um, in a minute. We can do two is just make our own. Let's see.
want some backlighting. May want that backlighting. Yeah. Feel a little red. Let's see, it's where it's I've got some questions. This is a hard question, but sometimes it's okay. You could start from scans, you know, you don't have to start from scratch. Like in this case, we just started from a sphere, not a big deal, you know. Yeah, let's continue to sketch before we're done with our time. Yeah, thank you. There's a regular version of ZBrush, you know, some cool shaders to play around with maybe. Well, let's go back to the other version. Let's see, what else are we adding? Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, sorry the thumbnail's wrong, guys. I know a lot of you guys were asking about that. I just uh, don't usually deal with the thumbnails, and they'll, they'll get fixed. Also, it looks like there's some symmetry issues happening here.
Let's see. Hey, how's it going, Michael? Yeah, so it looks like this is kind of where we're going to leave off for this week. I really appreciate you guys joining. You guys could do a lot with this free version as you can see we got this far so i think it's cool but yeah if you guys have any questions feel free to hit me up on social media anywhere anywhere you guys uh, feel free you know instagram seems to be the best way for me to answer so check that out let me give you guys a link to that so that's my link tree and that has all the Pretty much all my links for my website and such. But yeah, feel free to check out my Instagram here. You know, I post a lot of different type of work that I do. I think we'll probably be going back to mass soon if you guys are interested in that. I'll have a tutorial coming out about how to scan your head so you can have your own. Uh, your own scan of your own head so you can uh, kind of fit all this stuff into it yeah I like the way this guy's going Yeah, yeah, it'll be fixed. Don't worry about it. Thanks, thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, that happens from time to time. The the title of the stream kind of gets broken a bit. Awesome, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. Appreciate you guys uh, checking out the stream. If you like what I'm doing. Feel free to give me a follow. Feel free to give uh, the Pixelostic ZBrush um, a follow as well. But thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this process and like what you see and learn something. But uh, thank you guys. See you guys next time. Oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I don't know where it's going, but I'm liking the overall feel of it. 
Hopefully next time or I'll post it on my Instagram uh, where, where it goes if it if I decide to continue. And thanks for reminding me to save. Alright guys, take care. We'll see you next time.